Hello everybody, this is Josh Placer from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to another play of Diablo 3. This is Season 5 Hardcore. Previously, I started the Slayer chapter of the Season Journey. We took on the Uber Bosses. And now we are attempting to get to the top to complete this chapter. To do that, we need to hit Torment 7. So, I decided to bump it up to Torment 5 to see how well we are handling things. If it gets too crazy, we'll probably lower it back down to 4. But it seems like we've been on that bowl between 4 and 5 now for a while. I'd also like to try and complete the legendary gems if possible. Get the 1 to 25, but that may be a little harder than anything else to do the fact that it has to be done at the end of the Greater Rifts. Alright, let's see. And I want to try and get this set to 3, so that the Ring of Royal Grandeur effect will kick in. This was like an easy place to start. We'll get the double bounty bonus and maybe get the chapter one exclusive legendary item. Kill him again. There's a 65 million crit. Not liking how hard these guys are hit. Because we are playing on hardcore, I'd be a little bit more careful than I would otherwise. Okay, we got that taken care of. Amazing though. So I want to check my resistances once we get to the next area. Let's see. We're still resisting over 70% of the damage. So they're just really hitting all that much harder. And once we start getting those critical hits, we restore health. Let's 
see it's definitely getting a little bit longer to kill. Though once a critical hit start, that's not so much a problem. to get some more of these set items I'm looking for. I am my 50% buff. Moving pretty quickly, though. <laughs> oh, sorry about the noise, folks. I'm still a little sick at the moment. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Once we get the set pieces we need. 
Let's grab all these little guys, it'll fill up our progress bar quite nicely. Chop. Hmm, wow, we're almost at the next Paracon level. Like offensive wise, we're on par, but we're still a little um, exposed to my lightning right now. But our survivability is just insane thanks to our oh, <coughs> excuse me, thanks to our ability to heal through crits and my passive that activates when we take fail damage. So it's very hard for enemies to actually land a killing blow. See what we got. Ooh. What do we have here?
Right, the Immortal King set. Call of Ancients last until they die. Holy crap. Just flip around the circuit by three seconds. While both wrath. Wow. Even just that two set bonus would be amazing. If we could replace the regenerate health with critical hit damage, this would be a huge upgrade for us. We'll lose the shrine effect, but if we can get that one more set item, that would be huge. Hmm. I just noticed that portrait changing for the first time. <laughs> Alright, so we got Leoric's Shinbone. This is used to create the Whimsy Dale um, staff. But the pieces are a little hard to find. I don't necessarily go for a lot. Alright. I need to go back. But this is too good to pass up right now. It is an agent. And it's actually my first agent set item too. I know a few videos ago I wasn't sure if set items could be agent variant, but I did find out later they were, and this is the proof is in the pudding, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can make this even better. No. No. Critical hit chance. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, yeah, here we go. 26 to 50. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see if this will work for us. No. Mm. We'll actually see if we can roll it a little bit higher since we had the chance. Five percent attack speed. Eh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. All right. If I can get one more item, one more of the Immortal King set, we'll be in a really good place. I also have extra legendaries I can break down for the Immortal Souls if I need to. Look at all this stuff I have to break down. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's put the shin bone away. Let's see if we can get a zoom in there. Oh, the glows look nice. I also need to really consider getting rid of this helmet, because it's a decent helmet, but it's one of our older legendaries. This belt is probably not going to go anywhere for a while. At least not until I find a better um, legendary gem than this. Although, once it gets to level 25, then this will always proc, so... Maybe at that point we'll get rid of this belt. Alright. Making some really good progress. Looks like we have another set to go for. Because getting that thing about keeping the agents alive, that would be amazing for this build. Frenzy kicks in. We don't really have to worry about attacks. And we did lose a little bit of our critical hit chance, but we got a little bit more critical hit damage in the process. I don't want to let them all whack, you know.
It's nice to be able to see where the butcher is from the get-go. Now I did notice that that set, the Ancient King one, does have a two-hand weapon as one of its components. That could be a decent upgrade to this axe. Especially when you get a sock. that as a test. I wanted to see just how far that guy was going to hit. And that was definitely a hard hit. It doesn't make sense to stop and fight. Okay, entrance here over here. Our agents are recharged. Let's do it. Get by that. 
sucks for you, boys. That didn't do as much damage as I thought. Yay! I need to go back. All right, let's get our reward. Someone plays on shoulders, so. though. Nope. I mean, we could break it down, I suppose. Anything okay. Happen? Let's see about replacing our helmet, if possible. What? I didn't even know I it had It's too that expensive. Thing. Oh, I should also replace my chest piece too at some point. Reforge legendary, upgrade rare, convert set, low requirement. Wow, that's going to be a while before we do that one. Let's see, since I'm making use of the shoulder piece, maybe we can make it better. Anything raise critical hit chance or damage? No, doesn't look like it. We do use furious charge. If we were replace regenerate health with either cooldown or life, that would be good. Getting rid of that's not going to do anything. Neither will this. Yeah, that's pretty high up there, too. Alright, let's try this. Alright, give us a little bit more survivability there. Again, I have a bunch of legendaries I can break down when I need some more those souls. Got a lot of them actually. Hello there. Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's try this, but if it gets too crazy, we may need to book it. Prove yourself worthy of your birthright. More fury.
idea. Because we have. Oh God. Torments by greater risk probably won't be in the cards just yet. Four still seems pretty doable though. Showed up one uh, torment level earlier, right? That was a little exciting, wasn't it, folks?
not bad that we wiped out the entire group before it ran out. Goodbye. We're making slow progress though. Conduit pile would be great right about now. Oh, thank you. I will not be do, 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 do. Must hurry up. Come on. Oh, well, we found the exit already. If only that was there on the last floor, right? With the treasure columns, it would have been the loot would be insane. All right, let's pick this stuff up. We are filling up on stuff already. Well, we're just under halfway. We're about to level up. Too concerned about those guys. The Rast we can deal with, as well as the Unbear. Still one more path. I was thinking this would be like a large fort. I guess they knew about the conduit pylon. I think we'll probably call it after this play. I'm still debating whether or not I want to keep at Torment 5 or draw it back down to Torment 4, at least until I pick up one more of those set bonuses. Good news we got big guys, the bad news is that they're going to be very far, obviously. Oh, not bad. 67 million right there. Not a tough fight. Healthling is probably really good for this build because we just have so much overwhelming damage on our hits and shark. They just die like that. I just love the axe being thrown behind me and then critting at the same time. I've created a range for Barry. <laughs> I 
much money do I have now? 15 million. I did spend a lot on upgrades and the jewels, too. It's quiet. There we go. Again, these larger guys are going to be worth more. Cool. Well, when they just blow up like that, right? I won't get by heavy attacks on Torment 5. It's gonna make sense to waste the Ancients on this. Man, I can't wait to get that second piece of the Ancient set. my legendary stuff on the enchantress, like once I give like bonuses to the area and stuff like that. Maybe that will help out. Good. Thank you, critical hit though for healing. I would like to find an elite pack or a special pack before I use the power pile. Get in there. Oh, I believe that's a perfect opportunity to power it up. Watch for the crits here. Let's see how high we can go. 62 million. What the hell? <laughs> he just blew up. Well, I didn't see a crit number for that. I had to upgrade for more than like 8 million. Right? Oh, I just saw 184 million crits. Now that's what we want for every crit attack, right? Making good time now. There we go, I was hoping he was going to pick that up. Should be near the exit, I assume. I was saying they do hit very far, but we just recover health so quick thanks to the critical hit. found any good album yet. Yeah, 
In retrospect, during the goblin horde earlier, I probably should have focused down the um, blood token. Blood shard, let me see. That way it gives a greater chance of getting it from Tadea afterwards. Nice hit. 14% away, we almost got. Oh, what about you guys? Not bad. But still worthy of something mages on. No Masker bonus in here, so we can't really make use of it, sadly. Die. I would like to find an upgrade for her, though. We haven't really seen anything yet. 94? So maybe one, two more packs should do it. There we go. And we're about to level up once again, too. Alright, where's the exit? And it's just standing like nothing's going on. Okay. I think we missed the way out. But, we're getting ever closer to what we need. And hopefully, the Rift Guardian will drop something good. Giving a rare rift token would be great right now. And then we can try to upgrade our gem higher and higher. We get to 25, we get the bonus. Oh, where the hell are we supposed to be going? Don't tell me that little alcove up there is the right way. Tiny little alcohol up there. Alright. So we're doing a little bit of backtracking. At least we got the movement speed from the power on the speed things up. I'm just using my force move shortcut, which you really need to have self or situations like Belial and you get caught in a bad spot. <laughs> oh boy. Fortunately we just have to kill time until we get back on the right way. Definitely not ready to take on Torment 7, obviously, but it feels like we are like on that bubble now of 5. One more really good set item or legendary would probably push us over. Alright, now we're back in it. Oh look, a whole bunch of guys just waiting for us. Alright, 
Now this is a little concerning. A lot of heavy hitters right here. Heavy hitters combined with... Oh boy. Not one with that hit. Can't even get close enough to hit him. Uh, back that up. It's the Waller that's getting a pain in the ass. It keeps pushing me out of range. Okay. Hear that charge up, I back up. <laughs> Stun him. This should actually do it too. Alright, who's it gonna be? Wow. That hurt. Fortunately, we can stun these guys. And again, our crits are keeping us going. Can you just up the button? Alright, now for the paper. He's gonna start splitting up like that. Or just mortar. Okay. Oh, the fissure. It's not going to be enough, though. And you're dead. Oh, a lot of good stuff, hopefully. Alright. I need to go back. And... A little bit more movement speed for us. The axe doesn't look like it's going to be helpful, though. But I do want to see if we can give our enchantress anything to help out. First, we'll drop this off. And we got... Blocking, no, we already had that. We already have Legacy of Nightmares. And that doesn't help us. Alright, let's see if we can give her anything. Wait, there are you. Uh, restraint focus. Okay, so we complete that set. Chance will hit the charm the enemy, while charm the enemy takes. Hmm. Wait, chance on hit. Hmm. Maybe. It's not like I'm going to be using that. Do I have any rings or two hand stuff? No, oh, we had that already. So that means a certain, uh, doesn't help us. Lightning pulses, no, we don't have that. Chance of summon a ghostly. Hmm. Magnificent. We do that, she loses a whole lot of damage. Yeah, 
Probably not worth that much. But if we can find a useful set ring or legendary ring, maybe we'll give that to her. Oh, keep doing that. We'll hold on to that. Somehow we got a Crusader set. Alright, let's begin to wrap it up for this play. Alright, come on, give me something good. What? I didn't even know I had that thing. I don't have the Death's Breast to constantly upgrade the legendaries for a better chance. So I gotta rely on the Kaidea and hopefully getting lucky to get a new set armor. Alright, but nevertheless a really good play. For next time we'll attempt the Greater Rift. And we'll see about getting some of these new sets completed. But... Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It will help out a lot. Check out Game-Wisdom.com for posts and podcasts, as well as our Patreon campaign. that You can find that under Game Wisdom. Any donations will be greatly appreciated. And check out the Twitch stream, GW Bicer, most nights at 10 Eastern. I'm going to take a rest now. We'll see about doing that greater riff next time. Take care.